Hello everyone, I'm Alex, and I'll be here gameplay of Blind Fate Hedo no Yami Prologue. So this prologue came out today, it's developed by Troglobytes Games, and published by 101 XP. This game is, the full game, the full game is to come out on, in next year, uh, first quarter next year, uh, but they released, they already had released the demo, and now they released the prologue, so. Uh, for me it plays a little bit bad, because the requirements are a little bit uh, higher. You wonder why so. it happened. That's the problem. I see it in your eyes and in your ghostly steps. Erring, lost amid the rubble. But the game, if you have a good PC, the, the game looks very beautiful. Drawing trembling fingers over soot and blackened stone. Safe behind the walls. You had forgotten the yokai. The angry spirits, the legends say, that once destroyed the world. You had forgotten the demon hunters. And their war waged in silent woods. On freezing peaks. And misty shores. At times, even daring the dark maze of the haunted cities. Labyrinths of ever-shadowed roads. Crumbling beneath the height of eternal towers. This is the Jesus. story of one of those deadly warriors. No, this is the story of the deadliest of them. Yet, I shall not tell you of the loss that shook his youth. Of the pain he could never forget. Or the pity he could never forgive. The tears he wept and the oaths he swore are his and not mine to give. The training that followed is no mystery. You have seen the Shogunat's methods. Soldiers are shaped and sharpened like weapons. Their weakness is crushed. Their will hardened. You know enough of it? No, I am the bard, and I decide where the story starts. It all begins in utmost darkness. But you can play with keyboard or gamepad, it works with both of them. I know it appears A over there, but that's because for some reason it reads always the gamepad first. They don't have the buttons to show, like, if you go to options, there is no buttons to choose, like, keyboard, because they want you to play with gamepad. But, again, I think I prefer a keyboard and mouse. I will, only if there is some more confusion stuff. And it's better with gamepad. Because you can switch, you can choose the buttons for Xbox, PlayStation, or Switch. Yes, it looks like this game will come out on Switch. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's true or not, but it does that. You don't say. You said you were going to upload data to my brain. Data. <laughs> You've got the wrong place, AI. This doesn't look instructions. Was too fast over there. I'm sorry. We're over. The data I possess are uh, by the way, this the this pro uh, prologue that you play does not carry for the full game. They are they have in there that does not carry. This is like a story before the game or something like that, but for people to not think that it will carry, it doesn't. Yes. This is more to get you know feedback to see because they improved from the them. I can, I can, I'm gonna be honest, they improved the optimization stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, still like the game is very heavy for for my PC. I'm gonna be honest. But you can always you know do stuff to make it playable, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I can say that they improved. But this is more for you to, for them to get. Uh, more feedback on this stuff because they even changed, I think, the combat or something like that. They said they had things in there that they said they changed it. Something's waiting. Your sensors are not detecting threats. Silence is too heavy. 
Oh, shut up. No blabbering while I hunt. So, Perry, okay. I think that's only block. I think the parry needs to be right in the end. I still don't know how it is the parry, how the parry needs to look like. I like the aspect of the of the character, you know, uh, cyberpunk samurai, you know, or uh, cybernetic. This game was like when they show. I think it was like on uh, a free or something like that. Uh, it wasn't the free. It was like you know summer game fest, something like that. Many people were like, "Whoa, this game looks cool," and stuff like that. And it and it is. It looks very good. But also again, you need to have a good PC to look. Uh, to have those beautiful graphics that they have, and I'm gonna be honest, Oops. if you if you see uh, the trailer, the graphic style of the game is very good. I'm gonna be honest. By the way, you have a gun. They, they still don't explain that over here, they only explain how to attack with your uh, Yapon. But I know they again because I played with them, so I know about that. And you can stun enemies with that. Ouch, fuck, that was too late. I still don't know what what is the parry, how the parry needs to be. Because I'm pressing and it looks like it's only a block and not even a parry. So I wonder if there is like a difference between a, the parry or if the parry is that. I will take if the parry is that is okay. Because you can punish them after that. Oh shit. A big motherfucker. He's like ho ho ho. You think you are a samurai? That red is, I think, means uh, unblockable. There we go. Was it that hard? I think the red means unblockable. You can't block. You need to ev evade, basically. Both of them are tired. <laughs> It's too strong! Oh shit, the ball. Not the ball. Ooh, and now. And now it comes here an interesting mechanic for the for the game. I'm gonna be honest. What they're gonna show introduce now in here, it's a cool mechanic for the game. So disabling the encastled uh, uh, combat, so we don't have stomp, air dash, teleport, nothing like that. Can you repair it? Yes. If I cut open your skull again, you have a fifty percent chance of survival. No. Well, that's a no to me. What's the other option? I will activate your sensors. Use them to find Crane. When you find it, fly back to the dojo. I might have a solution for your combat system. Humans have sensors. You are bionic now. You have sensors. I have greatly improved your hearing. Try it. So this is a cool mechanic because you have sensors. This is going to be important to defeat enemies too because on them they immediately introduce this. And this is a cool thing. It's a cool mechanic. I don't know if any other game has some kind of like this. Probably there is other games that have mechanics that you need to follow. So, uh, heat, uh, uh, hearing, I, you know, the, but there is Batman, right? Things like that. Smells like blood. Smells like blood. 
But that is a cool mechanic. And a lot of it. Whoever lost it can't be far. I don't leave blood, I leave oil. So it can't be mine. Is that a dead dude? A corpse. Old. Must have been dead for a while. Demon hunter's sword. Nano healers. Can only be one of us. Things are cut off. Something pierced the back of his skull. Jesus. Must be her doing. She must be close. She. Fly away. Oh, the crane. What the hell is this? Ido, Yamanashi, Chiswoka. Okay, we have to go back to the dojo. Okay, interesting. So that's how you choose where you want to go. So you need always to find the crane to go back to a. Probably in the dodge is like to learn skills, ability, something like that. And the other place I like for the to fight. There is no heat, nothing, what the hell? Repair. Yes. Reach the training room entrance. There we go. That's not the, the training room. Sorry, sorry, Tengo. It should be this. I forgot my place. My memory is not the same. <coughs> Shit, he died. No. Okay. It got stuck in here, pretty much. Ah yes, Tango. I saw what you did. Places. Places where spirits and mortals meet. Where time stops and death doesn't exist. Never thought I'd see one. How did you find it? It is only a... Ah, the image go on to accompany the... How fast it was? I don't know I don't what semi-virtual is, but this is magic of the old world. We call it an undying room. They say that Ida of the Flowing Blade found one. And that's where he trained to become the greatest demon hunter. So Ida is the greatest demon hunter? Alright. He almost beat my score. You trained Ida, the demon thing. Repeating. He was alright. He almost oh, okay. Now do you want to try? I'd be honored. Tutorial 1. All sensors to detect enemies. At first, enemies are invisible. All sensors to detect them. complete <gasps> that was too hard dodge and block okay. I want to know is how the parry it works do, we, do you have a vision of that every contact will make your enemy temporarily vis visible so every time that you attack they appear but beware its visibility will go down again if contact is interrupted dodge 
I'm gonna try and see here. That's only blocking. Dodge and block are vital. During your dodge, you are invulnerable. Blocking attacks will prevent receiving any damage. This actually will consume your energy. Okay, the green one. So keep an eye for the green bar, okay. Some attacks cannot be blocked. Pay particular attention to vi visual feedbacks when an enemy is attacking. I think they are talking about the, the red, right? Yeah, the red one. Oh, I can't touch, I can't block that. In here, I need to be quite uh, close to him. Yeah. <coughs> Since I could attack, I needed to have a way to see it. Ah, uh, but they don't explain how it works, the parry, to see how it is. There's a daily, a daily challenge. Tell. Enemies must be hit a certain number of times before they expose their weakness. So this is going to be an important mechanic uh, they is added into them. Like you see that green, it means that you. I think you need to put like in the green, in the blood one, and then you can do something. If I'm not mistaken, when it taps a weak spot, attack window will open. You can heavily damage them using the right sensor. Yeah, and then you need to do this right. When you are in a weak spot, attack face use the left stick or the mouse. And the melee attack before button to hit the enemy. Yeah, and you put in the right place or something like that. That's a pretty good one. That you, different times will have different uh, uh, sensor weakness. I think probably some of them will have two that you're gonna have to do. All right, stun and finishers. Various enemies have only two different attack types. Use the right attacks <laughs> to stun them. Yeah, the gun that stuns. Get closer to a stunned enemy and press. The interaction button to start a finisher on it. Then press the right button at the right time to perform the finisher successfully. Minimals! Execution! <laughs> That's really cool. Alright, uh, what more? Please. Oh, what? Probably it's not available on the prologue? Oh, but they don't explain the parry. Because, like, the block you are, like, with your arm in front. They, and they say that there's a parry. I don't know if the parry is different or not. Boo! Is that a different animation for the parry? Ah, you need always to ult. Please, find dog. Please, do not die. Find dog. So do I go uh, through uh, the crane? I still don't know what else is the blue, uh, the blue bar. There's those blue uh, uh, things over that. I still uh, don't know what all is that. Do I need to go over here? It looks like it's the same. All right. Do I need to go over here? Because they find the dog, okay, but there's only this place to go. Because the training was for you to understand how it works, the senses that enemies will have, senses that you can stun enemies and then do finishers 
you know, it's for you to understand. There's other ones that I don't know if it's because it's the prologue and they don't include, which makes sense. Uh, if they don't include, it's only for the full game, but still at the same time it's like, where do I go now? Is this, is this the one that I need to go? Isn't this the same place of the beginning? City of Ghosts. No frames. No, it's different. Oh, fuck. I just went to a solid floor. We're being. Moreover, the data I possess are 535 years old. You need recent data to produce. I heard you the first time, may I? Care to elaborate? You see a floor. It's probably getting dead. You stab a data source with your Tonto. The system will update for five. Try finding a source of data using your senses. Okay, hearing. Ooh. I will collect the data. World of the new environmental data acquired. So we are the world is like this. This is what's the part of the dam. I remember this part too. Oh I'm I think that this is uh, the, the dodge and it isn't. I was thinking that was the dodge. Zow! Oops, I pressed the middle boss button. Is this insta kill even with the hell? Oh, it is insta kill. Oh. oh, you need to put this to collect them. Oh. All should reload. Oh, is that the reload? Uh, oh. That is the arm. The forge. Nothing strange here. Do you use parts of these machines to make your own technology? How would we create Kami or robots or everything else otherwise? Are you unable to produce them from raw materials? They are not gods, or some weird ancient spirit like you, AI. You are weird and rude. Mouse. Oh, fuck. Again, press the wrong button. <laughs> it's the right muscle to change. Uh, but the animation is same, always same the finisher. Hmm. Get close to a dead enemy to collect its own data. Collect data will influence enemies with the bit on a global scale. You can access the description of all characters from the data menu. New creature that acquire. <laughs> I do not burn myself. <laughs>
I wonder if different uh, enemies, different uh, finishers. Shit! What the hell is that? Oh fuck. Okay, how the hell you attack to that? That's not enough to, to stun him. Oh, fuck. I wonder how the hell you stun him. up there oh but you can't dash huh I don't know then how the hell you get over there because if I had the dash I could dash over there What I couldn't even pass, I got stuck on him. I got stuck on him over there. Oh. Bitch. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell is that? I 
I wonder how the... I think you need to attack to this. Or not. So that's only a matter of waiting. Oh, you don't have anything more to say. What? I don't... Why are my things weren't coming out? This is weird. Is my rat okay? My mouse okay? What is weird? The first time I wasn't sure, but now I am. Fighting this thing felt like. It was like I was dropping always a further for attack. If you and your friends sparred in this fashion, it's easy to understand why you. Because normally you can like do a free hit and then dodge and I was like chew hit and the third one never com coming out and was making me like mistaken when to dodge. Very funny. Weird. What I mean is that I knew every stance it used, every blow it threw at me. Weird. What the fuck? What the hell is that? I found your dog. Oh, this what the fuck? That looks like a uh, dinosaur. How is gender detective? It huge as always. And fine. Looks like it didn't need so much protecting. Is the female creature there? No. Your dog must have followed the wrong lead. Dog sensors are never wrong. Moreover, you have found a dead demon hunter. His wounds matched yours. It doesn't make any sense. Something's terribly wrong. I must go to Edo and inform the Shogun. Please, come back to the dojo first. It's on the way. So we need to go to the dojo. <gasps> Wait, it's only starting now? I wonder. Or if it's like a trailer? <laughs> I wonder. Like, like I said, the game looks interesting, the mechanic that the sensors... It's interesting on, but I, like, I can't even see the, like, these things, because... It has some difficult to run. Uh, it's better to skip. Oh, it ends like that, okay. Yeah, which makes sense, which makes sense. But like, if you have a, like, I'm gonna say, like, if you have a good PC, you know, uh, probably gonna enjoy this game. Like, visually the game looks good if you have, again, if you have a good PC. The gameplay seems interesting, that mechanic of the sensors, you know, uh, it's a, a very interesting one. Again, I can see why the Pro Controller is better, probably like to change the sensors and then choose which one you want. It's easier with Control than the mouse, because as you can see, sometimes the mouse, uh, didn't even appear, it, took, it takes a while to appear to, for me to choose which sensor I wanted uh, But yeah, like if you want to test the game To see if the game runs well on your PC You can go to the prologues that are available you, you search the name of the game and then they, it, uh, it appears on the news uh, About that prolog is out already And you can download right now It's free, by the way You don't pay for that uh, you can test to see if it runs, if you like, and then once you beat, there is feedback, you need to press caps lock, weird button, uh, and you can give your feedback. Probably it appears like a, a server or something, right? Uh, and you give your feedback. Like, I, I, I'm gonna say the game is better optimized than wh when it was to them, I can see easily. Uh, I still think, I don't know why it was dropping now the 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 input like it was rubbing the input of the mouse against that that guy i don't know why like because i was always like free dodge free dodge and then it, it started to drop and it's like i don't know why but probably it's because it's better with gamepad cool because of that but uh, yeah it's like it looks interesting i don't know if i'm gonna check out or not the full game but because you know it's a game that is not supposed to work well on my pc so but I will see once, once it comes out, I don't know when, it's first quarter of next year, 
Uh, I, I'm not thinking it's going to be February. No way it's going to be on February. Uh, forget about that. If they release on February, they will kill the game. Uh, but once it comes out, I will see uh, if it works or not. And and it, it's it's a game that I, I will. It's going to be like a 50/50 chance of playing. So hope you guys enjoy here the prologue of Blind Fate. Uh, Edu no Yami. Uh, again, if you like what you saw uh, and you have a better PC than mine, you can download the prologue and see if you like the gameplay and give your feedback. So, hope you guys enjoyed it and see you guys next time. Bye.